I'm out of coffee. Good morning. <clears throat> Let's see here. Get all these pop-ups that come up now out of the way. TGIF. Happy Friday. Let's see. There we go. Oh my goodness. Little impromptu live. I have the day off of work and I thought, well, I might as well stamp. Right? Okay. <sighs> and I, my coffee's gone. And the coffee maker's all the way downstairs. I can't believe I'm doing this without a cup of coffee on Friday morning, right? <clears throat> I'll survive, though. Okay, I get everything set up here because I want to see you all when you pop on live. Um, as you come on, make sure to say hello um, and tell me where you're watching from. I know this is not a time that I usually go live. Let me turn this light off so it's not right in my face. Um, but I wanted to do some stamping and see you all here today. Since I have the day off, I thought it would be super fun. I am playing with the uh, Paper Blooms paper from Celebration. Let me get my flyer out here. Uh, and... I wanted to inspire you all this morning. I see a few of you watching. Hello, welcome. Um, say hi in the comments. I want to interact with you. Uh, and you all know the drill by now. I, um, unless you're new to my page, I love uh, inspiring others. You can think of me like your creative coach. And so when you share my videos, it makes me so happy and um, it helps to support my small business. So if you could take a minute and share my video on your page, I so appreciate that. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Rose Grunewald. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And um, I'm stamping with you today here in my fabulous stamping studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. I really love to make simple but pretty cards that are easily duplicatable at home for you. And um, I hope that you find my projects inspiring today. All right, I've got new product. Let me get my stuff out of the way. Let's flip this around. Okay, so you know that, um, I'll turn on this other light. On, it was Tuesday, I think it was, our spring mini catalog and celebration went live. I've been having a blast playing with new products and today um, I'm gonna be using the Dragonfly Garden stamp set and punch so this is a bundle in the spring catalog it's actually part of one of the suites so um, there's some really beautiful projects here I really like this bookmark um, that you can use and um, there's all sorts of coordinating a product here some designer series paper uh, some braided linen trim, which I love, that makes wonderful bows, trinkets, uh, there's some memories and more card bases and card packs, some laser paper. I haven't played with this yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I actually have a um, class to go going on this month too, and that class includes the bundle if you would like. It also includes a half a packet of paper, a roll of the trim, and then we've got an embellishment from the big catalog going in there too. And I'm also playing around, see when you order your class from me, you qualify for a free celebration item. And I just love this Paper Blooms paper. 
So I have been playing around with that. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. So let me move some of my stuff out of the way so I can create. All right. First off, paper blooms. Sometimes in the catalog, it's kind of hard to see um, what this looks like. This is uh, double-sided, of course. A lot of really soft colors with some pop of a darker colors. Let's see, what else do we have we've got? Ooh, I love this one, really pretty. So here's an idea of all the different paper um, that comes in that package. Love it. Get this out of the way. And I've got three cards for you that I've been playing with. Really simple. For our first one, I've got some layers going on here. Let me get this organized a little bit. I can't pick this up with my nails. What the heck's going on? <clears throat> I cannot see any of your comments. I hope that if you are saying hello and chatting. I am not seeing it. That's so weird. Let me, I just don't want to miss any of your questions. So give me a second here. All right. My screen looks different than it usually does. So I'm nervous that, um, there we go. Anyway, um, okay. It looks like everything's going okay. All right. Okay, so I've got two card bases out of Mossy Meadow here. And um, I am going to fold these in half. Oh, there's comments coming through. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for joining. I'm like, there's five people that I see that just popped on all at once and I didn't see any comments. I was afraid that Facebook wasn't working, but it's going. All right, these card bases, I'm, like I said, I'm using Mossy Meadow and um, I'm using that color because that's what pairs really well with um, the Mossy Meadow braided trim that I'm gonna be using and I'm almost out of it, so I have more somewhere. I don't know that I do. Well, hopefully I have enough for these cards. Okay, <clears throat> so that's why I chose Mossy Meadow. If not, we'll use a different color, no big deal. And this card base is just a half a card stock uh, piece, so it's five and a half by eight and a half. Good morning, Jackie. <clears throat> so glad you guys could join me today. A little impromptu stamping. Like I said, I'm usually never on at this time because I'm working, but I have the day off because I am going to a creative convention later. Um, and I thought I would stamp this morning, get my creative groove on. <clears throat> so we're gonna be making kind of two cards at once here. Now I've got two pieces of designer series paper um, and these again are from the Paper Blooms kit, two-sided. These are um, let me double check. I think I cut this one wrong. This one's cut wrong. I could just tell it was too big. Yep. That's uh, five and a quarter by four now that I cut it down. <clears throat> and that's the same size as our inside Whisper White piece. So I think I'm gonna get my inside stamping done first. 
gonna find my petal pink here because that is the accent color we're going with here today, petal pink. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Vicki. Hi, Donna. Hi, Cindy. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh my, there are people from all over here. North Carolina, Ontario, Canada. That's so awesome. Vicki, I don't know if you caught one of my previous lives, but I had someone else, maybe it was you, watching from North Carolina. And I was in a softball tournament there once uh, in Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. And it was like my favorite, one of my very favorite places that I ever played softball at and traveled to. It was just a beautiful, beautiful area in the Outer Banks. Okay, I'm just taking my little dragonfly stamp <coughs> from Dragonfly Garden. Now there's two stamps here. One's a solid image and one's open. If you paid attention, you see that it looks like I'm stamping with the solid image, but what I actually stamped has an open abdomen here. That's because I mounted my labels wrong on the stamp, so uh, I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> Just a heads up for those of you who um, might order the class for me or order the bundle on your own um, to watch for that when you go to mount your stamps, double check, because one is like the outline and one is the fill, and I got it wrong when I post, when I um, put those labels on my stamps. All right. I am going to glue this on the inside. Petal pink is a beautiful color paired with mossy meadow. Now ironically, mossy meadow is not one of the colors in the designer series paper. So remember, every designer series paper pack has the list of colors that are included in it. And this one doesn't have mossy meadow, but it looks really great with it. And I wanted to make sure that it coordinated well with the ribbon I was going to use uh, my trim. Okay, so I'm just gluing these inside pieces here. Isn't this pretty already? I love dragonflies. Um, my husband and I absolutely love going fishing and when we're fishing for like bluegills and the lily pads on a nice warm day I always see dragonflies around and so this reminds me of summer and fishing and catching bluegills. <clears throat> okay, now I forgot one thing here. I need a scrap of petal pink and I forgot to grab one. Work. All right, now I have a layer of designer series paper, and this is five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to glue that right on the card base. This is um, a card that's going to come together pretty easy. I am so curious because I have been using my designer series paper so much. Do you all use your designer series paper or do you just look at it and let it be pretty? One of my New Year's resolutions was to use my designer series paper. I want to use that pretty paper on cards so that my friends get to enjoy it and not just look at it in the stash in my craft room. So what I started doing was buying two packs of designer series paper instead of one. So I wasn't afraid that if I used one of the patterns that I loved, that I wouldn't have it to use on another card again. <clears throat> I want to use that paper. Okay, so we've just glued down our, um, our layer here on the card base. And now we've got some petal pink 
And let me tell you the size of this card, this layer. This one is three and a half by four and three quarters. And we've got the other side of the same, see this is the same design, I just flipped it over. Same here, here's our design, we just flipped it over. And this piece is one eighth of an inch smaller on both sides than this petal pink layer. So this is three and three eighths by four and five eighths. And I think I showed you all my little trick for cutting that. <clears throat> so I know that my petal pink is three and a half by four and three quarters. So what I do when I want that little tiny border that's an eighth of an inch smaller, I line it up with the same, so the with the layer below it, so that was three and a half. So I line it up there and then I just move it over an eighth of an inch and I do the same thing on the other side. So the petal pink layer was four and three quarters, so I'll line up that edge and I will shift it over an eighth of an inch. Now, when I tell you the measurements, I have to do all the math in my head to figure out what they are for you. But to be honest with you, I am not measuring and lining it up, you know, four and five eighths and three and three eighths. I literally line it up the same size as the one before it and then just move it over an eighth of an inch. Okay, we're gluing this. And I'm using my snail adhesive. I love, love, love using my snail. Whoops. I got a little hasty. See how that comes right back up if you need to re-adhere. It was a little hasty with my, there we go. Okay, and that one's going to coordinate with that card. And now, oh, this is beautiful. I think this is my favorite pattern. And I'm going to go like this, yeah. Nails, my favorite. Every time I use it, it's so smooth. I feel like I hear angels singing. And I'm using our little silicone mat here so that I don't get glue all over my tabletop. Okay, and so we've just got that little border of petal pink just peeking out around the outside. Just like that. Oh, Sharon's trying to use her DSP, and Jackie says it's so pretty. I hate to use it, but I'm getting better at using it. Good for you. Definitely love that. All right. Um, looking for my ink. Here we go. Mossy Meadow. And find my petal pink. What I'm going to do is stamp the sentiment, and this comes from Dragonfly Garden. May good things grow all year long. And since there's flowers all over this designer series paper and leaves, I thought this was the perfect sentiment to use for our card. And I've got a little bit of texture in my table, so I like to put these foam mats under there so that it doesn't come through on my stamping. this one over here just in case I don't line it up right. All right. <laughs> what a good New Year's resolution to have. Use that pretty paper, right? Okay, now I'm looking for a punch that I had here. Okay, I'm going to take my tailored tag punch. This is actually the perfect size for the sentiment I found. And I like to stamp first, and then I line this up. Uh, and I, what I'm doing is making sure May and Long are kind of straight on my tag. Okay, I think that looks good. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Line that up. 
There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Now, I haven't used this in a while, and I thought it would be fun to kind of combine my, I've got this organdy striped ribbon, and this is in a petal pink. And so we're gonna do a little double ribboning on these cards today. I'm just gonna snip off a piece of that and use my tape. Ooh, I cut it plenty long. I guess I don't quite need it that long. I love this ribbon because it's sheer and you can kind of see through it. It really kind of brings up that wow factor on your card. Like so. And then we're gonna do the same with our other layer here. Do you guys have big fun plans for the weekend? Friday is finally here. I'm so curious if anyone's doing anything fun this weekend. I have my creative convention that I am going to with some demonstrator friends of mine. Um, course we're going to be safe and wear masks and bring our own supplies so that we're not kind of touching everyone else's and I'm just really looking forward to getting away a little bit uh, doing all these gatherings is like one of my favorite parts about being a demonstrator and um, you know when you're a demonstrator you don't have to do what I do you can just buy the discount so there's a lot of hobbyists there and I get so much inspiration from their beautiful projects whenever I go to something like this so I'm really excited to come back and kind of show you some of what I was inspired to make there there we go so I'm just taking my mossy meadow trim now this uh, braided trim is included in my kit class, my Dragonfly Garden um, class to go that you can register for now. I already put the link up there in the description. Um, so you can order that through the 19th. Gotta get on that pre-order list. I would say the sooner the better because um, you want to make sure that you secure your kit. I do not sell out. All right, I am popping up the sentiment on dimensionals. May good things grow all year long. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to put this layer on and I'm going to pop that one up too. That way I know exactly where I can put that sentiment. So, Sharon says she is cleaning house, but you can come clean my house if you really want to. <laughs> She's like, no fun. I don't think you're gonna offer to come clean my house. <laughs> there. Now we're going to tuck this in here. What do you think? That's pretty darn simple, but really, really beautiful. Got that dragonfly in there. And we'll finish our second one here. I had just enough of this mossy meadow braided linen trim. I'm going to need to buy more of this stuff. I thought I had extras and I cannot... Either that or I need to look through my stash because I don't know where it is. <laughs> That's all right. Soon enough, I'll be placing an order. These make, this braided linen trim, it makes the best bows. They're like 
kind of stiff and stay right in place. And the loops are nice because it's a little bit of a stiffer ribbon. I love this stuff. There we go. <laughs> Sharon said she doesn't want to clean her house. Hey, I don't blame you. For Christmas, I bought myself, well, I mean we, my husband and I, we bought ourselves a Roomba. And this thing is so cool. It like maps out our house and I can tell it, and it connects with our Alexa thing. So I can tell it to like clean the whole house or I can tell it, I named it the maid and I can tell the maid to like go um, just clean one room or the whole house. The other day um, by the entryway when we had our Christmas tree up, um, of course there was all the needles so I could tell it to just go vacuum in the entryway and it has been like a blessing and what that means for me is that I can spend less time vacuuming and more time stamping so of course I love that <clears throat> hi Julie welcome thanks for joining here we go. There's our first two. What do you think? Aren't those simple? They're so pretty. I mean, so pretty. I let the paper do the work. And, you know, this mossy meadow isn't even in there, but it pairs really, really well with that braided linen trim. And you're going to get that in your dragonfly bundle kit. So if you order the paper booms for free, you'll have everything you need to make these cards um, with your free paper. That is so pretty. I love how these turned out. And actually, as I was playing around, I was using some of my other ribbon. So like this one has the, there's a new combo pack of ribbon. Let me get it out. In the spring catalog called Well Suited. It's got like Night and Navy and I think it's basic gray. Um, so I used that Night and Navy over my petal pink, and I thought that turned out really nice. So that's kind of a different tone with the blue and the pink. And then I did the Night and Navy with Rococo Rose. Um, and I didn't put that petal pink ribbon in there because I didn't know how it would go with the Rococo Rose. And I kind of wish I had because I feel like that ribbon gets a little lost it's still a beautiful card but there's something about that organdy ribbon behind that twine that really adds a little something I feel like so here's my first two cards I'm making three so one more this morning but here's some other examples using that pretty paper super easy you cannot get simpler than that you guys I love it I love it when you make a simple card and it turns out really beautiful. Okay, clean up some of my stuff. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks, Julie. Yes, the paper is beautiful. Um, and I'm actually gonna be really honest with you for a minute. When I first saw this paper, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. I, I was stumped a little bit with how to create with it. Um, but what I found is it is really stunning to me when it's cut down into the smaller pieces. There's something about those big images of the flowers cut down to smaller pieces that I just think it's really, really beautiful. So, okay. Now, for my next project here, I'm going to clean my ink off. Just move some of this stuff out of the way so I don't lose my stuff. I have a drink here. All right. Okay, this one, I actually was inspired by something I saw in the celebration brochure. Um, by the way, before I ever create with any of these, like I'll flip through and I'll look and be like, okay, I'm going to sit down and use the Darling Donkeys, which 
I'm going to make a bunch of cards, I think, on my live next week with Darling Donkeys. Um, and I look, and I'm just kind of like, okay, what can I do with that? And I just get ideas. So as I was flipping through, I noticed here, see this paper with all the circles? I was kind of racking my brain what I could do with that. And I noticed that they've lined up some dies from the Pretty Perennials bundle. And that is what inspired me to um, kind of make this next card, that idea. So what we've got here is a card base of soft sea foam. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. Just a piece of card stock that's cut in half. I'm gonna fold that. Okay, and now I've got uh, some layers here. I've got um, a piece of this pattern designer series paper from the paper blooms. This piece is five and a half by four. So it's only gonna have the edges peeking out on these two sides, not all the way around like a lot of layers usually are. Rhonda, thank you so much. I'm glad you were inspired. And then I've got a strip. This was actually um, floating around because I've used this paper so darn much. It was floating around in my pocket and I thought, I can use this. And this strip is one and a half by four and three quarters. I measured it. And we've also got a piece of Whisper White that we're gonna use for the inside of our card. So, Let's um, stamp the inside right away. I think I want to use my dragonfly again, but this time I'm going to do soft sea foam. So let me find that. You know I love to stamp the inside of my cards too and the envelopes. There we go. And a lot of times I'll just come in from the side and actually like this one, I'll show you another. So I've come in from the bottom and we did that with our last cards, no big deal, but you also can come in from the side like that. You still have plenty of room to write a really nice handwritten note I've been sending cards to my niece. She just turned four. And during the pandemic, we've become pen pals making cards. Um, or I've been making cards and sending them to her. And then usually she draws a picture and sends it back to me. And it's like, I love getting mail from her. It's so much fun. She lives a couple hours away, so I haven't been able to see her as much as I would love to during the pandemic here and so when I get that mail it's so special and um, my sister told me that she has all of the cards I've been making her set up on her um, shelf in her room when she gets them she says we should put this on the shelf so that's been so much fun to connect with her that way so there's the inside of our card very simple but beautiful <clears throat> you know me by now I love to make those simple but pretty cards okay so here is where my inspiration came in from the catalog I've got these all these circles and I got to thinking I wonder what I can do with these with my dragonfly set so um, I've got my dragonfly here. I'm going to stamp this in mossy meadow and I'm going to stamp it right here on this soft sea foam circle. I'm not really worried if it's centered. I'm not worried if it's off kilter a little bit. No big deal. But I stamped that and now I'm going to get my punch and I'm going to come in and punch my dragonfly so i'm just lining this up there we go and you can 
save the little dragonfly that comes out too if you like. And of course you can do this with any of the colors on here. My card just happens to be soft sea foam and that's the color that was on the edge of my scrap. So when you order the class for me, you'll have your punch, you'll have your stamp set, you could order paper blooms for free and you could make these cards that I am showing you right now. Oops. So you'll already have some ideas. Okay. I'm just going to glue down this piece to our card front. Trying my best to center it here. Just like that. And our strip we're going to pop. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something. Forgot to stamp. That's all right. This is smooth glue. So I'm going to take my sentiment. You are an inspiration. And the reason I used that stamp set is when I'm going to put this piece on like this and it looked very artistic to me, which I thought is inspirational. Someone giving you artistic inspiration. And that sentiment comes here from the Dragonfly Garden set two. So that's the stamp I'm using. And I want to make sure it's straight. And it's actually not on my... block real straight. So... Good luck, right? Oh, that turned out great. So I stamped the sentiment right here on our designer series paper. You are an inspiration. And I need my circle punch. I've got a scrap of vellum here. I'm going to punch out this vellum and I'm not using my two inch circle punch. And this is going to get tucked behind my dragonfly. So I don't want, um, I don't want to be able to see, I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals and I don't want to see them. Uh, pop out since you can see through the vellum. So what I'm doing is gluing my dragonfly onto it first so that I know exactly where that's going to be. And then I'll know where I can put my dimensionals. So let's grab those. I'm going to pop up this layer here. How are you liking these colors together? It's kind of bright. It's fun for a Friday. Another simple card. But it's a great way to use those kind of scraps that you have floating around after you cut up some of those pieces in your designer series paper stacks. As you're using them, you know you always have strips like this that you're not sure what to do with. So making a card like this is just a perfect way to use those up. Put those dimensionals on there. By the way, my dimensionals look funny. A big, huge sheet because I'm using what's left over from my paper pumpkin kit this month. In case you were wondering, where'd she get those? Okay, now I'm just going to center this dragonfly here over our circles. And I think we need a little bling. What do you think? I think we need a little bling. So, what should we put on here? Ooh, 
I think these opal rounds would be beautiful. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab a couple of them here. And let's go here. You know I like to put them on in threes. Let's go up over here. Now we blinged it up. There we go. There is our card. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, and you know, Jackie, I put that vellum behind there um, for a couple reasons. One, it softens it up, and we've got really soft colors and tones here. But also, um, it, it looked a little busy to me when I had the dragonfly right on top of these circles. So it kind of mutes the um, designer series paper layer behind it so that it doesn't look too busy. So that's kind of the purpose of the vellum. Thank you, Carol. So appreciate that. So if you order the paper blooms as your free item when you get my um, dragonfly class, you can make all these cards. You have everything. The only thing would be you might use different bling. All these cards you would be able to make. <clears throat> here, let me, you can see them better here. Isn't that pretty? I think they just turned out so, so awesome. And if you want to uh, pre-order my Dragonfly Garden class, um, I put the link right above for you to get the details and what's all included and everything. Um, that pre-order is going on through the 19th. You can kind of see, we get a little sneak peek here of the different cards that are included in there and they're beautiful, you're gonna love them. So um, you get to make um, 12 cards in the class kit You'll make six designs and have all the supplies cut and ready to go um, to make 12 cards, so two of each design. Yep. All right, guys, there's our projects for the day. Thanks for stamping with me impromptu. I know it was a little surprise that I was popping on. Um, and I really appreciate you guys chatting with me while I stamped. I hope that you were inspired. I hope you got some great ideas for your stash. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. Um, if you need supplies, by the way, I would love it if you would shop my online store and support my small business. You can find a link to my online store at countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. Um, here's my host code for the month. When you use that host code, that's what helps me to bring you prizes on my Make It Monday Live and everything like that. Um, use that code if your order is under $150. If it's over, though, skip the code and send me a message because we need to chat about how to get you a really good deal during celebration on a discount shopper kit if that's how big your order is going to be um okay i'm gonna let you guys go for the day and get on with my day i still got a pack for my convention so thanks again for joining me and i'll be stamping again with you soon have a great weekend guys bye